Hello, welcome to the Driven to Compete channel. Hey, if this is your first time visiting my channel, I'd ask that you hit that button for subscribing as well as the bell so you can stay up to date on all my latest videos. My name's Sean and uh, today's video is going to be about working on my, uh, my workhorse, my plow truck here. This thing, uh, I count on it to make me money in bad weather here in Pennsylvania. And so today's video is going to be upgrading my mirrors um so let's go ahead and get started i'll show you what i bought i ordered a kit from uh 1a auto the brand is trail ridge and uh you know what's cool about these is, okay so they look very similar to oems there's an oem mirror and there's the aftermarket until you flip it over let me go ahead and we'll flip these over and i can kind of show you where we're at okay so here you go so you can see here the mirror changes slightly this is the OEM style where they have that smaller um, mirror for, for uh, giving you a more close-up look here they give you a much bigger mirror to do that I think I'm gonna like this better um, but like I said other than that it is a heated mirror it's uh, power and the only difference is this has a power folding option. So here, I went ahead and I put one on the driver's side a while. And I just want you to be able to see this. It's going to operate just like, um, just like before. And uh, the idea was, instead of having to get out of the truck to pull these in, they'll go ahead and they'll power fold, which is awesome. More importantly... It's not that I can't do it on this side. More importantly, it's getting it done on the passenger side. And I'll show you what happens um, here. So on this side, I got a little close, misjudged, and boom. There you have it. So, uh, you know, I'm plowing. There's times when I get close to something, and I really wish I could fold this in without having to get out of the truck. And now I'll be able to do that. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, guys, we're going to start. Um, I had been doing some work on the driver's side, which we'll talk about a little later. So let's go ahead and start on this video is going to start on the passenger side because taking the door panels off isn't going to matter which side you start with. Now, you will need some tools. Um, more importantly, you're going to need a screwdriver, a Phillips, and a T40 Torx. Um, I went ahead and I threw some other things over here that I know I'm going to need for later on that we can talk about. Um, going to need something to remove trim panels with pieces with. So there you have it. Um, you're going to need some ties, specifically the smaller ones. And then I like, uh, you're going to need one of those as well. And then I, I like, I always have electrical tape with me. And, um, if, you're, if I'm using electrical tape or, ties i always have a, a, something to snip them with and then of course um you can never not have a pair of needle nose you can always use those straight screwdriver and of course a phillips and a punch i wanted to show you that so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start by removing there's a phillips here there's a phillips down here as well and then there's two on the bottom here and here okay so i'm just going to go ahead remove my screws here um you can get on this one with by lifting the door handle obviously i can't do that right here at the second because i'm holding the phone but i want you guys to see that you know you get on they were a little rusty down there um there you go they're out and literally that's all it is pull this side out i love to use my floors to put all my stuff so you'll see me just tossing screws in there i've got a screw up here i need to grab um i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to remove this and i'm going to show you uh with some i'm going to grab a light a while as well because i want to show you the torques in here and there you can see it t40 I'm going to go ahead and remove that, and then it lets me just pull the door handle off, and then we'll, we'll pull the panel. So there you have it. Door panel handles removed. Throw that down there. 
And then literally a lot of this just lifts right up. You can see that it lifts up and it will pull right out. Okay, so now you're gonna to wanna to disconnect your, uh, you're gonna to wanna to disconnect these power pieces back here um, for your window and your lock. One last important detail, you're gonna need a 10 millimeter socket so that you can take these off. And see there's one back here yet. Here we go. You wanna be able to press that to release it from right there. I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna uh, walk out here. I'm going to uh, add the window down. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to remove these by, with my left hand and I'm gonna hold the mirror with my right hand. Um, it came right off. Okay, so I removed the one from the box and it comes with the power folding hardware there. You're gonna to wanna to pull this off and they give you new hardware. They do not want you to use the old Dodge hardware and I'll, and I'll show you why here in a minute. Okay guys, so going ahead and I've take, uh, removed them and, and you can see the difference and why they want you to use the new hardware versus the old right there's a huge difference in helping this to uh, distribute that weight a little bit more evenly so we're going to go ahead and we're going to grab these and our mirror and we're going to get this bad boy installed first thing you need to do is you need to disconnect uh right here and um i don't know if i can do this one-handed or not but you need to disconnect that so that you can put that smaller plug through the hole that comes through into the truck. Okay, so we're gonna feed that through, just like that, literally. And then the, the mirror gets installed. Okay, so we're back. I went ahead and I just started these, just enough so that I knew it would not um, fall, pull through. I pulled the cable through here. We'll deal with that in a minute, but I wanna tighten these first. So let me back this up and grab my my gun here there we go and i'm going to tighten these up i'm going to draw them up nice and slow you can see the mirror tightening up so what's our next step well our next step is going to be we need to fish this and i i've watched the video on uh 1a has a video on how to install this they talk to you about coming down through um you peel all this back which you're still going to need to do no matter what okay um for me i find it easier because i want to follow the factory i want to come down and, and follow the factory down through so i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to actually remove my speaker for this so i've gone ahead and i peeled your water your water shield back and i removed my speaker so what i'm going to do is i'm going to follow the wiring that way i know it's out of the way i'm gonna fish it down through come up through here where my finger's at bring it up around and ultimately we're gonna go through here so i need to uh in order to prep i need to get the wire pulled from over here across and i need to talk to you about that so um in preparation for that though while we're here we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna pull this weather strip and we're going to pull this piece here off to give ourselves a uh, room um, to see and work. Now, in order to do that, um, this is literally just pressed in. I'm going to try to do it one-handed. We'll see what happens. Um, there we go. Um, there we go. Okay. And you just pull and it, the whole thing comes off i'm gonna lay that here beside my my door panel and you can see it gives you access in here now i need to also pull this panel here i'm going to go ahead and work on that um again these are just held on these uh this one here does not get removed very often so i can tell you that it, it is going to be a little a little harder to uh let me work on that for you yeah there we go 
There we go. And off it comes. Okay, so I got a little light here and I grabbed a screwdriver. So you have this piece here. It's actually two pieces. There's a rubber boot that you want to pry off with your screwdriver. I'll zoom, zoom in there a little bit tighter for you. Okay, so you want to pull that off. And then you have this guy right here. Now listen, there's tabs in the corners. Okay, that if, as you work those and release them, they will let the unit pull itself out. And this is really something you want to do with two hands. Um, again, once you get three of the corners, so I'm going to go ahead back here with the screwdriver, feel for that corner, and see if I can't get it to release without, of course, we're on camera too, so nothing ever goes right on camera. But I'm going to go ahead, there it goes. And then you can pull this out. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I've gotten it out. And I also took the screwdriver and I broke out this clip right here. And I'll tell you why. First of all, you don't need all four corners to hold this in against the truck. So you want to go ahead and you want to take that out because we're going to fish a uh, power to operate the, um, right here, to operate the power fold. We're going to fish that through here. So what we want to do over here now is you want to get that out. And all that really is is you use a screwdriver to dig that out and get it started. And once you do that, it should literally pull back out. There you go. You'll see it. And there you have it. So that is what we're going to have to fish through. And trust me, this passenger side is going to be easier than it was on the driver's side. So there you have a better look at it. We're going to go ahead and we're going to fish through once we get our wire over so we're gonna walk over to driver's side let's talk about uh, what we have to fish through and why okay so we're right back over to the driver's side and like i said you want to fish this down through because i'm going to go ahead and i'll show you what i did on the driver's side um i did all this behind the waterproofing but i used those zip ties i told you we're going to need and i went ahead and i just made sure it zip tied and held itself in place and then you remember that piece we unhooked yeah, right there it is. I stuffed it in behind there to uh, make sure that it would stay. I put the bigger zip tie on it. And when I say, uh, say that that was the box that we originally disconnected that was hooked up to the, and then <clears throat> to the mirror. And then you're going to fish wire through, right? And I ran it up through and out through here and down over the side here. And what it does is it goes into... Uh, it splits and there's a piece here that needs to be ran over to the driver's or I'm sorry to the passenger side as well along with a power and a ground and it is fused um, I don't know if you can see that but there's the fuse uh, and they tell you anywhere from a 10 to 30 amp power source um, I could ground it literally right here at the dash which I may still do that um, and then I could maybe even pull power from here. They want you to pull it out of the fuse box under the hood. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that or not yet, but, um, I went ahead and Dodge has a little piece that pop, a little piece that pops out. Okay. So I went ahead and mine had a circle in it because I had my dial originally mounted there. So I went ahead and I, I put a, I, I cleaned it up and I hot glued a piece of metal to the back. Made it, you know, made the shape just what I needed to do because right here's my control switch, right, for my mirrors. So that fits perfect, as you can see. That's going to go in there great. It's going to sit in here just like that, plugged in, and it's going to be clean. It's going to look really great. Um, I think I take pride in my clean, cl cl how clean I keep my installs. There's my plow. Uh, lights to switch back and forth and there's my um efi live tune switch as you can see they're kind of hidden it's nice and clean um i try to do that with my gauges you can see how i tucked my gauge for uh in there and then i have my three uh up top as well i mean there's my wiring i mean i tried to make this clean to power my gauges and it's you know it's just how i do it take that extra minute to take a little pride in my work and it will pay off in the end. So what are you going to fish this with? Well, I'm going to use a screwdriver and I'll show you that in a little bit. But I wanted you to see why we're fishing the wire. So I have this piece here that I need to tuck up underneath the dash and go from here across 
and over there guys so i ran mine i pulled the, i ended up pulling the piano underneath the driver's side there ran it up over top of the hood release fished it down through here and then i i have it tucked up and there are right up behind here and i have zip ties to show you that i have it zip tied and then i fished it through right up here fished it through brought it through here i knocked out that corner because you don't need four to hold that in so i knocked out the little so that you could fish it through and i brought a screwdriver up through okay and i've gone ahead now and i've electrical taped that and i'm just going to fish that through and that way i can come right into the door then so i'm going to go ahead i'm going to have to put the camera down to do this but i wanted to give you an update on like how i got where i'm at Okay, so I've gone ahead and I pulled it through, and as you can see, just put some electrical tape on it to hold it. Um, I'll go ahead and I'll pull all this off. Our next goal is to fish it through the door here, okay? And um, so let me keep moving here on that. Okay, so I've gone ahead and I fished it through, right, right there, and I pulled it through. And there's wire that you can feel back here, and I'm going to show you through that. Right here's the wire. And there's a harness. You can see the, the white tab there. That is this piece of harness. So what I'm going to, to recommend that you do is you take a zip tie. And you get it started back here. And you zip tie it fast. And uh, let, me get a, let me get you a better view. Okay, so right there is that wire I was talking about. Okay, you can see it there. And you can also see it down through there. I'm going to go ahead. Let me see if I can make that visible for you better okay it's a bright flashlight for you but um it's almost impossible for you to see let me zoom in and see if that's going to work uh hang on here and i can't get you a better view Unfortunately, there you can kind of see it. There, there you can see it. So you want to zip tie that. I apologize. I can't get you a better view. But um, let me back that up just a tad. So you're going to fish it down. As, and you're ultimately going to come out the bottom here. And fish it up into here. To meet this piece right here. And I'm going to go ahead and zip tie as well. This piece here. So let's go ahead and I'll get them started. And then, and I'm going to zoom out. I, I promise you I'll give you a better shot here of what I'm trying to talk about. Okay, so I've gone and I fished this wire through like I talked about. And I've, I've shown, I wanted to, you to be able to see the zip ties. So I went ahead and what I did was I fished it down from behind. Okay. And I used the zip tie back here. Okay. I, I was able to tie it through this window. Okay. Get it, cleaned it up. And it's, it's back here and it's loose. And I don't know if you can see, there you can see it. That is to help this wire keep it in place. Then I went in, down long. I zip tied it down here. Wrapped it around. Zip tied it here. Okay. And then here's that piece that we had to, that uh, you plug this into. And then you plug that. There's a plug off of that that comes up here to power the mirror. Okay. So you want to go ahead and I would recommend you clean these up. Once you have them tight, you're just going to snip, snip. Okay, and it just gives it a cleaner look. Okay, so they're all cleaned up. You can close that up. Um, you've, gotten, um, you've gotten through there. Um, honestly, it's just a nice clean look um it lets you um there you go just attach that and make sure you can get through there it's just a cleaner way i think to do the wiring than what they show you in their video but uh you just want to make sure that you everything's clear which it is i can go ahead and put my speaker back on everything's wired now i do have a loop here i left some slack so what i need to do is i need to pull that through um, let me go ahead and zip side, side. So you're going to go ahead and you're going to pull this through. Okay. 
me show you here what I'm talking about. You've got some excess wire. You want to pull it through. Okay, and that is now pulled through. And then you've got some excess wire over here that we're going to reach up where it comes through. And we're going to pull on that and see if we can help that to um, pull back into the truck. There you go. You can kind of see me. It's not uh, necessarily going to go without a little effort. Um, this is probably, in my opinion, the crappiest part of the entire installation is dealing with all this but it is workable i'm gonna go ahead and give it one more tug see if we can't get that cleaned up and there you have it so i'll show you how to pop this all back together and uh we'll put the speaker in um and we'll deal with this issue okay so let's start by trying to get that push back in there's a groove here okay that's what goes in the door so as you push it through and you just wiggle it around it kind of goes right into place now over here i'm going to, to tell you that you're better off putting the plastic around this lip first before sliding it in through and um it literally um can be a pain in the butt as well but uh you want to start wrapping it around i recommend you start from the back side um you stretch it out around and you can see there how it's going and then it's it's pretty much on and then we'll pull it through the back side so i'm going to go ahead and finish this up and i'll show you how to push it through okay so we've gone ahead and we've got that ready to go you line it up you're just going to press it in and you'll hear it click just like it did and there it is it's in that part of it's done now you're up to um we have to deal with this here so what I, so i've gone ahead and i've just kind of put it into a bundle i'm probably going to put another zip tie on it just to make it neat but there you have it and then i'll i'll push it just in behind here put a zip tie on it in fact i might use this zip tie to hold it together and put it where it needs to be at and held in place then it's out of the road then we can start buttoning up our dash and uh put our door panels back on so i'll show you how to do all that here in just a sec Okay, so I've gone ahead, put the speaker back in, door panel's already going. You can see where I zip tied that fast. And I've gone ahead and just, that's it. That's back on. Now I need to do the bottom piece. Again, I want to make sure you have everything out of your road. And uh, I'm going to push this back further so we can have give a little bit better view of what we're doing here. But, uh, the important part is hooking into on the inside here first and pull all that back and then you can uh, see here there's grooves that's what you want to line up and hit and hit and I got the top in but I didn't get the bottom so I'm gonna go ahead and work on this a little bit more getting it lined up for you and then i'll show you the video i'll pick the video back up once this is in because i believe there's yeah there's a guide rod here i need to get lined up so let me do a little manipulating with two hands and we'll go from there okay so there you have it uh what you have to do to get that to line up that guide rod is um you need to make sure you have uh you want to start that first and work it around there so there you have it now for our door panel, we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna go ahead and we'll hook these up. Again, they just push in and then we'll go from uh, from there on setting the panel on, in place. Okay, I've gone ahead and I've plugged those in and I, I just wanna tell you, you know, make it easy on yourself. Pull that out of the door there so you have plenty of room. You can always pick this back up before you mount it, right? And push this back into place. And then you can set your door. And literally your door just sits on, you start right at the top. And, oops, you start up here at the top. And you work your way down from there. Literally it's that easy. Um, so, 
let me go ahead and set that a while like I said you have holes all along here and you have these tabs and that's what you want to do you want to get them all lined up and get down in their spot so let me go ahead and set the door there you have it door sat down in and you could tell that by the way it looks the whole way down long up across the top here it's not bulging or pushing out anywhere so you know you have it incorrectly um, I saw that pushed out you gotta spin that around I guess um, anyway we want to make sure that we get everything in there you go just the way it goes you got a screw here screw there and you've got that Allen uh, Torx I'm sorry it goes there um, and then you're done so okay guys so everything's buttoned up except for right here I need to clean that up you can see over there it's all back together so here's where I'm at uh, I need to, to do power and a ground to power this switch okay so what I did was I'm tied in using they gave me some things here um, you know if I wanted to run it to hoi to the to the front under the hood to the fuse box I could piggyback off of it that way um, they give you a couple options I chose to go this route I'm just going to jump it I have a um, key on powering just my uh, my gauges so I'm just gonna jump off of that and um, they give you you know these guys here to let you tie into it um, if you have never used one of these before, if you do it right, they work great. And um, I'm going to go ahead and show you what I mean. So let me see if I can pull it apart. Hold on a sec. Okay, so if you run, you connect. This is the wire I'm connecting onto, and then I slid this in to power the the to power the switch. And then what you do is, before you try to close it, you take a pair of pliers and you just simply squish that down. And that way you know that that has bit down over both the wires. Then when you go to close it, right, it's not that difficult. So there you go. Um, and then I ran a ground because I already had a ground here as well. So I just ran, a, I tied it into the ground the same way. And um, so that's pretty much it. Wiring 101. I'm going to go ahead and put my gauges back up, my pillar gauges back up, and uh, we can demonstrate how these work. Okay, guys, so I buttoned everything up, and uh, inside the truck just looks like normal. Key on. Let's try the, see if this works. Oh, wow, that works great okay so i typically drive where you can barely see the side of the truck so that way you don't have any blind spots let's go ahead and we'll look over here oops forgot to switch it okay so do they power fold that's the question let's zoom back out i've got my button mounted down here now they are not synchronized i noticed but it said that they would self-synchronize so we'll see what happens there that one's done and that one just finished so there you have it um so yeah the uh literature they are trail ridge um these are for uh fourth gen dodges they are their heated powered power fold mirrors i think i paid 345 shipped to the house I don't think it's a bad deal at all and uh you know hopefully you uh you found this video helpful as always subscribe 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 share 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 please i can't say that enough um can never have too many subscribers can never have too many people watching my videos so with that said you have a great day driven to compete watch like subscribe